Good morning. <laughs> Rise and shine, everybody. <laughs> it's a bright sunny day and we're gonna go to New York and try to find some really good gluten-free pizza because, well, because I want to. There actually was a parking spot right in front of the place, but I'm not sure I would be able to squeeze in there, but I'm like five cars down. And there's a sign right here. And that sign right there, it says no parking. The arrow going towards this direction says no parking Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. or 6 p 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. So no parking 8 a.m. to 6 p.m which I think it's after six, so I'm considering staying here. All right, it's 5.49, so I'm tempted to just hang out in my car for 10 minutes, 11 minutes. Because um, technically, I don't think I should be parked here, but in, le in 11 minutes, I can park here until 8 a.m. Free parking. So I'm gonna hang out for 11 minutes just to see if anybody comes and tells me to move so I can be ready to move. But from what I can see, I think we're in there. Yeah, no parking, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. except Sunday. It says it right over there on the other side of the street. I think we're in there. This might be home for the night. <laughs> so it's um, 6.15 and seems fine actually all the spots around me filled up so <laughs> I think I just got here at the right time look it's all filled up now so I'm just wondering how many cars there will be overnight but I know I'm good for now so I'm gonna go get this pizza and go from there this gluten-free pizza place bye car <laughs> So it looks kind of fancy, but I might order my pizza to go. That place was very expensive. 
It's like a fancy Italian restaurant. It was all gluten free, but they did not have pizza. So there's a place around the corner, artistic pizza, and supposedly they have good gluten free pizza. There are a lot of good looking stuff in there, but I'm not trying to spend $35 for dinner. <laughs> I'm on a budget. Fortunately, there's a lot of options to choose from. I do love noodles, that's tempting. I might just walk around and like... Let's take a look in the window. This is exciting. A lot of options. Although I didn't wear my jacket. It's not quite as warm as I thought. So this place is called Artistic Pizza and they also have good gluten-free. That was a whole gluten-free restaurant, which was kind of cool. But it was more like a gluten-free Italian restaurant. And I didn't see any. I saw some bruschetta, <laughs> um, but no pizza. I think over here, I think this place has some. We'll check it out. Oh, there it is. Right up there. Okay, look at this sign. I'm already feeling better about this. Yep, much better. Okay, these are the not gluten free ones, but this still looks good. So they don't have slices, it's a whole pizza. But I'm okay with that. And I got a soda. <laughs> this is more my style. That other one was like a big fancy Italian restaurant. Normally I like root beer with pizza, but my stomach's feeling a little weird, so I'm gonna have a ginger ale. I always, I rarely drink soda, but I love soda with pizza. Cheers. I'm gonna check it with the DoorDash app and see what it's like. When I looked earlier, it was gray, but that was like in a different part of the city. So let's see what it says. It's not busy at all. I'm not missing anything by not DoorDash. Now. The sauce is amazing. The sauce and the mushrooms. The crust isn't anything fancy, although it's cooked really well. It's the toppings that do it for me. Toppings. The sauce, the cheese, I mean. <laughs> I'm happy. Mm. 
It's good. recognize this car coming up on the left there it is I think I'm fine where I am and the thing I'm worried about is a bathroom so there's a bathroom that's a mile away a public restroom and it closes I'm just not sure I want to walk two miles it might be good to get the exercise. Walk around New York. Might be a good idea. I'm gonna have to wear some warmer clothes though. Okay, note from my future self. <laughs> it, was, it was very comfortable. I forgot to say, um, if you could like the video, if you are enjoying my trip to New York, I would love that and if you are new and watching for the first time, um, feel free to subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of this awesome community here and uh, the adventures I'm going on. So yeah, feel free to subscribe. All right, back to, back to, <laughs> back to New York. And there's like right around the corner, a coffee shop. So I'm gonna try that first and then there's another restroom that's open till 10, so that one I could, it's also 1.4 miles away, a little bit further, but not much, so that one I could get to if this coffee shop isn't open. Yeah, so that's, <laughs> it'll be fun to walk around, but I need to bundle up a little more because I was a little cold. So that's what's next. I'm really loving my parking spot. I got here just in time to get like, the street parking. I'm all bundled now. A little warmer. Crips to go. Let me turn the camera around. It's exciting stuff. is I need to find a bathroom so where's that gonna be there's gotta be a bathroom around here somewhere Dunkin Donuts no bathroom none at all
So I guess this is a balsamic fig latte. I think I put it, I showed the thing on the wall. Um, I got a decaf and just a little one. And I'm going a different way back. Oh, wow. That's unlike any drink I've ever had. This is interesting. Look, there's like a thing down there. I don't know what this is. Pro Proxima. Building. Interesting. Energizing environmental practices in Portuguese architecture. <laughs> New York is fun. The building behind the tree. So I decided to take the long way back. Look at this. This is neat. Center for Architecture. Look, it's my tiny home. <laughs> Bank. It seems like it's quieting down a little bit, which is good. So it was kind of like a big loop and I'm going the other way around the loop and we'll come back up on the car. I think my spot is good and since I just went to the bathroom, I think I'm good. Got my decaf coffee so I should be able to get some sleep. I asked what time they opened and they said 7. If they had said 6, I think that would work. Um, there's somewhere I'm going and I have to be there a certain time so it's gonna be a super early morning for me because um, traffic could really make a difference and I don't I don't want to miss the place I'm headed to um, which will be in a later video you guys will see but oh this is cool I'm gonna wake up super early and get going. It's probably gonna be like five, maybe six. So I'll just have to Google coffee in the area when I wake up, I guess, cause you know me, I love my coffee. I could make it in the car, but you know, <laughs> since I'm in New York, I'll get coffee in the morning. I'm sure somewhere will be open at six. I might, it might need to be five, depending on traffic. Here we are, back to that place. It looked really fancy and nice, but expensive. And we should be coming up on the car soon. It was a good little, a refreshing walk. And there we are, up there on the right. All right, I'm back from the walk. I'm just warming up the car as much as possible. And I'm waiting for a stealth moment to hop into the back because I don't want anybody to see me. I don't think anybody would really care, but I don't know. <laughs> I would just rather not 
I have anybody to see me. But right now I'm just enjoying um, sitting here while the car warms up. It's quieted down. See, there aren't as many people. There are a couple people over there. This spot is available still in front of me, so I'm sure somebody will pop in that spot eventually. Um, I'm winding down though, I'm getting tired. It's a little messy back there. Um, there's some stuff on the seat, so. So I am going to call it a night. Well, I have my headphones um, and my charger. <laughs> and I'm probably going to listen to something and go to sleep. It's, um, I think it's like 8.30 or 9. Hold on. It's actually 8.19. It's kind of early, but I just want to... Um, call it an early night because I'm waking up super early tomorrow. I'm gonna see if I can find a coffee place that's open at like 5 a.m. but yeah. All right. <laughs> Let's show the little tree first before. Oh it's the blinking light. There we go. I took my cups down while driving, um, so see this one stays up there, but I have to tie them, the hooks on to help keep them up, which I think one of them, oh well, I can mess around with that later, but okay, good night, I don't want to be too loud, I can hear people out there, so I'll see you guys in the morning. I didn't sleep horribly. I didn't sleep great either though. I'm gonna get going because I know that the traffic can come up out of nowhere. So I wanna be on the road by six. That's in an hour. So I, I need to start like my morning stuff. I'm gonna warm the car up. I don't hear anybody outside. And I'll talk about how I slept and stuff later or like didn't sleep so well but I'll save that for later oh yeah good morning <laughs> I'm gonna put the seat back and then hop up in the front. All right, I'm back in the driver's seat. Um, I would say that it was a success. Uh, I'm gonna start warming the car up. And then while that's happening, um, other than like my anxiety, 
nothing bothered me. Well, in that dump truck about half an hour ago. But, hold on. There we go. Just blowing out cold air right now. Um, let's see, it is 41 degrees outside, not bad at all. And other than that uh, dump truck, the only thing that I woke up, I don't know if I was dreaming or not, but I thought I heard somebody like writing on the window and I was imagining it was like a parking person with one of those like neon <laughs> Sharpie type things writing on the window like to be towed in the morning or something like that. And I thought I could feel them like moving the car and I was like, and then it went away. So I think I was dreaming. <laughs> I don't think there's any writing on my window. Yeah, so that wasn't like an anxiety dream about my parking spot, but um, it's quiet and it was peaceful. I mean, it's it was hard to sleep, I think, because I was anxious about just be, there's different noises, like the dump truck and the traffic was kind of fast here when it did go by and voices and I was like half alert. Overall, it was a success. So I'd like to find some coffee and warm the car up. So the name of the street, I'm on Bleecker and I believe this is Sullivan. So Bleecker and Sullivan, like right, that's where I'm parking. So it was fine. And this spot that was directly in front of me has been available all night. So I don't think that it's too hard to find parking. If anybody's coming to New York City and needs a place to overnight park, this was fine. It felt safe and there were a lot of cool restaurants and stuff to check out, coffee shops. Anyway, I'm pretty happy with my night in New York City. It's time to move to somewhere else, <clears throat> but I'm gonna get some coffee and uh, that's the video, but let's get coffee first. The only thing open are Starbucks until 7, and that's like an hour and 20 minutes, so I'm just gonna keep going on my route. Um, route. <laughs> route. It's route. It's en route, but it's a route. Anyway. For, yeah. what New York's like at 5 45 a.m. See all this street parking? It's like free. You just gotta read the signs because it's like move your car by this time or move to the other side of the street. <clears throat> but there's parking. Let me know if you see coffee. So it looks like there's an open Dunkin' Donuts right there. That's fine with me at this point. Yeah, I'll get Dunkin' Donuts and then um, that's good. <laughs> Works for me. Thanks, Dunkin' Donuts. It looked dark, but then there was somebody at the counter. So let's keep our fingers crossed. Okay, that was a good sign. Somebody walked by with um, Dunkin' Donuts bag. And she's got one too, a drink. I think they're open. <laughs> sugar so it's not at all sweet I don't know why I thought it would just <laughs> I guess I assume everything from Dunkin Donuts is sweet so it's no sugar macchiato not a caramel macchiato just a macchiato but it's actually hitting the spot because it's like creamy frothy but not sweet 
an espresso. Maybe because it's from New York, it's extra good. <laughs> All right, these are the exact conditions I need my glasses for. The driving with the lights. Um, so I had to go grab those from the back, but that's it. My overnight in New York City, stealth camping. Um, it was pretty safe. Well, it felt pretty safe. I think my own fear was, was the hardest thing <laughs> of like, who would come knocking on the door or would I be allowed to park there overnight? parking anxiety dreams but it was fine so that i recommend that area it's like in between west village and greenwich village i think and it just happened to be where that restaurant was that i didn't end up going to but that's been my experience with new york i haven't been in a long time but i used to go so shout out to new york <laughs> i'm having fun but time to hit the road thanks for watching and uh, keeping me company on my New York adventure. Um, I always talk about my favorite strawberry shortcake episode when she goes to Big Apple City. So I felt a little bit like her wandering around. <laughs> and actually, she goes to Greenwich Village. But I think it's called Spinach Village. <laughs> All right. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.